And this is an, an eye cream, basically. I put a little bit on under here. I put it on the bone, my cheekbone, really. I got told to do this, maybe I'm wrong. People are gonna be watching this, saying you're doing it completely wrong, but I'm open to help. Today we are reacting to Sam Smith's fresh skincare routine, and this appears to be their morning routine. I love Sam Smith, their voice is like the ceramide NP of a thousand moisturizers, but does their skincare routine hold up? And for those who don't know or are new here, hello! My name is Cassandra Bankson. I'm an expert and I've been in the industry for 10 years and I've personally suffered with acne for over 15, which is given me a hell of a fun time today. I'm a medical esthetician and although I've worked alongside and with both doctors and dermatologists, I am not a physician myself. That being said, I love scrutinizing, analyzing, and learning from other people's routines. And so today, that's what we're gonna do. This is Sam Smith here and I'm gonna be walking you through my, um, my skincare routine, my daily skincare routine, and um, what I do to attempt to look fresh and beautiful every day. I'm really excited to do this. I'm really excited too. <laughs> the first thing I do whenever I'm looking after my skin in the morning or the evening is something that my dad, my dad and Pharrell Williams taught me, um, which is splashing really cold water on my face. It makes me feel really good. And I'm, I'm hoping that the, the cold water on my face is going to keep my youth as I get older. It's, I don't, I'm, I'm only going to figure this out when I hit 50, but. So first off, their skin already looks like diamonds. So whatever they're doing is obviously working for them. However, I'm really happy that Sam is taking advice from both their father and Pharrell Williams, both seemingly great sources of knowledge and information. Applying cold water to the face in the morning can be refreshing, it can be rejuvenating. However, um, it wouldn't really be anti-aging. And um, the thing that I was afraid Sam was going to say, but that they did not, is that it snaps closed pores. That technically does not happen. Do people say it? Of course. Have I said it in the past? Of course. Does cold water use the laws of thermodynamics and dip into like cryotherapy of cold tightening all of the muscles in the face and maybe causing a bit of tightness? Possibly, but there is no little muscle outside of each pore that actually opens or closes. There is an erector pili muscle, which causes you to get goosebumps, the little hairs all over your face and all over your body. That's what that little muscle is for. Um, but there is no pore opening or closing and pores are largely determined by your genetics, by your oil production, um, things like blackheads and a little bit of your products. Um, so if you like cold water in the morning, go ahead, use it, wakes you up even better. However, don't be fooled into thinking that it's going to open or close your pores like lots of cosmetic companies will try to tell you. And then we get this, it's called Skin Cuticles. And this is a Simply Clean gel. Skin Cuticles, uh, adorable. <laughs> Cutis in Latin technically refers to like a skin or a peel, the outside shell of something. And that's why some terms for skin, like the cuticles could be QT, like cutibacterium acnes, um, but skin cuticles, I think it's skin cuticles, but now I'm questioning myself, have I been pronouncing this wrong the entire time? Somebody enlighten me. When I was younger, I definitely didn't take care of my skin. I, I used to wear a lot of makeup when I was a kid from about 14, at 18 I was I had full makeup on every day to school so I would I it looked pretty awful to be quite honest I would do my eyebrows and I'd put on fake eyelashes and contour and everything as a kid my skin was getting really dried out and and just not fun so I got into just daily skincare routine and um, that just made me feel fresh and, and plumped up my skin a little bit when I'd been on a plane all day Skincare is self-care. I, as well, had some of the most horrific high school moments. Um, I was experimenting with makeup to try to, you know, cope with everything that I was feeling and hiding and dealing with on the inside. Um, yeah, that was a fun time. <laughs> so I put this on my face. This is the cleanser. It's really sticky. So I put it on for a little bit, leave it for a little bit, maybe sing a song, uh, maybe. Sexy dance to Beyonce. Sexy dance to Beyonce sounds fantastic. I don't know um, why they would leave this cleanser on the face. I don't think there's anything 
in the literature that backs that up or in like the literature of this product. Now, SkinCeuticals, unfortunately, is not cruelty-free. They are owned by L'Oreal, but they themselves are sold in China where animal testing is required by law. So as much as I have wanted to try this, as much as I have been in clinics and in professional settings in which SkinCeuticals is sold, I personally refuse to use it to put it on my face or to sell it because it does not match my morals and values. And it is normally grossly overpriced. A lot of their serums have patented molecules that cost towards $300. Um, which is ridiculous. This one is actually quite decent. When we look at the ingredients, most are good or totally fine. If you're super sensitive, you might not like this because it has some orange oil or some oils that could be a little bit more irritating to the skin. Um, but overall, this seems like a really good one. A little overpriced for what it is, uh, but I'm not mad. To be honest, I feel like I need to figure out how to not touch my face because I read this thing that Meryl Streep said, it's gonna get in my eyes to not touch your face. That's how she remains looking so young. So I need to figure that out at some point. We knew that Sam Smith was intelligent and talented and spoke truth, but you didn't need to come for me like that. I feel like, who was it, Meryl Streep just used them as a vehicle to deliver that to me. I know I need to stop picking my face. I know I need to stop touching it, but it's right here and it's like, these little grub fingers are just magnets to it. I can't stop, I'm trying, okay? Okay. <laughs> and then the next thing I do, this is called, this is again skin cuticles, and this is called Floritin, Floritin CF. Just drip some on my cheek here, and I drip it over my head, put some here, trying to not let it drip, basically. Oh, we did the dropper thing again. This is not recommended. However, it is not the worst thing in the world because products have preservatives. If products are preserved properly, they are formulated to ensure that, you know, if you touch a dropper to your face or if you stick your finger in the product, it's not going to contaminate everything else. Um, so people love to freak out about this. It makes me cringe a little bit, but like it's not the worst thing in the world. And vitamin C in the morning is a great choice. Mix it in really, really quickly. Really, really, really quickly. Just using the tips of my fingers. Gentle, looks good, but what are the ingredients? Girl. <laughs> $166 for one fluid ounce. Not even 1.7 fluid ounces. One fluid ounce. You've got to be kidding me. And you know to turn and learn those ingredients. When you do, you will see that yes, this does have a patented molecule. Um, patents are basically saying, I own this intellectual property, I own this idea. And they charge you a lot more for patents because nobody else can use them. I understand both sides of the coin for patents. You need to protect your idea, but also is it fair to jack up the price if it's not actually that expensive to make and manufacture? That's where the catch comes in. It is an antioxidant serum. It provides environmental protection but when we look at the ingredients, it's got this 2% floritin. They say it's derived from apples. Um, it says it's an antioxidant. I think it's technically a phenol from what I understand. Again, when we look at those ingredients, it's also very, very basic. You have water, dipropylene glycol, alcohol, ascorbic acid, which is your vitamin C, your butylene glycol, triethyl citrate, and then you have your floritin and ferulic acid. And I believe that the ferulic acid is stabilizing the vitamin C because we've seen that in medical literature. They're literally charging you $166 for one of the most basic serums that they've just added a patented antioxidant molecule and a little bit of ferulic acid into. This is highway robbery. This is marketing claims at its finest. I understand that L'Oreal and SkinCeutical pays for a lot of clinical studies and research. I do think that they are cutting edge. I wish that they didn't test on animals so that I could personally try them. Um, and again, you can't tell everything from the ingredients list. Obviously, this works extraordinarily well for Sam because their skin is glowing like diamonds. However, the cost of this I find to be a bit absurd. Get yourself a regular ascorbic acid slash vitamin C and ferulic acid product and put some antioxidants in and save yourself 144 bucks. <laughs> I can just imagine Sam Smith shopping for this, looking at the price and being like, take all the money you want from me. I hope that it's worth it, Sam, and I hope it is everything that your skin wanted it to be. I will then go to another Skin Cuticles brand, 
which this is my favorite thing. Another one? I run out of this so quickly. I use way too much, but I feel like I feel like it's a good thing because it re this to me is the key to like no spots. I've, I've under here like it's so smooth on my face. I love it. So this is the hydrating B5 gel from SkinCeuticals. Um, it is not as expensive, which is good. Uh, for $83, if you have the money, obviously Sam Smith does if you have it, and you don't mind that it's not cruelty free, go ahead. Um, I could find others that are less expensive that I think are formulated comparably. However, I have not personally touched this one, so I can't say. If we look at the ingredients, it has water, phenoxyethanol, which is the preservative, broad spectrum, calcium panthenoate, which is that vitamin B5 or panthenol, and then we do have sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid. And again, when I look at this, it is so basic. It's good that there's not a bunch of fillers in here that could cause irritation, no fragrance, things like that. However, this is so expensive for what it is. Get yourself a hyaluronic acid serum and a little bit of a panthenol serum, mix them together. You could do that for under 10 bucks. And I feel like you'd be getting something comparable. Again, is there something that L'Oreal and their SkinCeuticals patents know that I don't? Maybe. Sam is attributing this to all of their amazing non-spottiness, their hydration. Panthenol can help with sensitized and pigment prone skin, but, um, I am naturally a critic and a skeptic, and uh, for $83, this is not doing it for me. Not happening. If you just want skincare to die for, this ain't it. Mm -mm. Put it on my hand, just put this all on. It's like, it's like velvet on your hands. It's amazing, and you can just feel your skin drinking it. It's absolutely incredible. Again, let that sit. I have to have music on in the bathroom. I play so much Beyonce. And just, cause, cause you gotta let it sit for a bit. So a little dance in between every single, every single product. I I love that Sam Smith recognizes that skincare is self-care. It should be fun, it should be relaxing, it should be a reset. Um, and the fact that Sam takes music into that is amazing, it's wonderful. Also, you don't have to let your products dry in between application, but if you can wait, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a minute and a half, it's actually not bad. It allows those products to set up, actually create a film, and then you're creating more layers. And similar to how you can layer makeup, like primer, concealer, foundation, powder, setting spray to get like a really nice look, you can layer skincare. And if you let it dry up, as long as it doesn't get pilly, you can actually kind of layer skincare to create that glass skin look. This is my next thing I do after my um, hydrating. I put, this is called Ov Ovida, it's amazing. I love this color green, it's beautiful. And this is an, an eye cream, basically. I put a little bit on under here. I put it on the bone, my cheekbone, really. I got told to do this, maybe I'm wrong. People are gonna be watching this, saying you're doing it completely wrong. But I'm open to help. Sam doesn't need help. They need a standing ovation because this is one of the first times I have ever seen an eye cream be used how I personally recommend, which is not as an eye cream, but as a moisturizer. I have gone off about eye creams so many times. This is one of the biggest marketer ploys because when you look at the ingredients, they take basically the ingredients that you find in a moisturizer, they stuff them into a little tiny container and they charge you five to 10 times the price. The ingredients are almost identical. Eye creams are crap and you should never be overpaying for them. A lot of marketers and people who don't have a background in medicine or anatomy or understanding the skin will tell you that the under eye area doesn't have pores or it doesn't have sebaceous glands, and that's why you need to apply an eye cream there and spend $100 on their fancy little package. Not true. Your eye skin is skin just like the rest of your face. It has pores, it has sebaceous glands, it secretes oil a bit. It is a little bit thinner in that area, and that's why a little bit of purpleness can show through, but that is the only difference. Also, think about the eye. Multiple things can happen to the eye. You can have wrinkles, you can have puffiness, physical puffiness, and then you can have discoloration, like purpleness. Well, this eye cream is going to help with, with what? Is it gonna help the wrinkles? Is it gonna help the puffiness, the purpleness? All of those have different pathology or a different reason that they happen. What are eye creams selling us to do? And then the ingredients are just a big fancy moisturizer? 
waste of money. If you can put something here, you can put it elsewhere on the face. And if you can put stuff elsewhere on the face, you can put it underneath the eyes. If you want a different texture, if you're trying to apply makeup over it and you like a lighter or a thicker cream in this area, be my guest. But please turn and learn those ingredients and spot the BS marketing when it happens so that you don't get ripped off. I love that Sam is at least applying this, you know, to the zygomatic process, um, you know, which is what I would recommend. Take your eye cream and smear it all over your face. You're welcome. There's also something for me about skincare and about touching your face that is it's really quite a lovely, it's like a more every morning, you're just like, hello, I'm gonna look after you. Um, you're my friend. It's like, we're all flowers, right? And we're all, watering ourselves and and keeping ourselves fresh so we can grow tall and strong. I could not agree more with that. Your skin protects you, it waterproofs you, it allows you to touch and feel things like temperature and sensation. We should give our skin that same respect as well. And this eye cream is working as an excellent moisturizer on their skin. Do you see how well that absorbed? I'm actually not familiar with this brand. I don't know if they're cruelty free or not, but let's look at the ingredients. And it is a... No. <laughs> I was going to say it is a firm brew botanical cream. And then I saw that it is $377. $377. What? What? It is vegan, which is good, but is it worth this kind of money? Absolutely not. Again, clinical trials prove that it boosts hydration. Yeah, I bet it does boost hydration because when you look at the ingredients, it has the same ingredients as a hydrating moisturizer. Oh my God. Use it morning and evening. We also recommend using our ironing effect mask as a finishing treatment. Yeah, pay me more money and use our products together so that we can steal more money from you. Again, if Sam likes it, it obviously soaks into their skin so well, but this is highway robbery. Please never feel that you have to spend this kind of money on a little tiny urine sample size cup of product. Oh my God, I'm like, I'm spitting. I'm so angry. <laughs> <gasps> and when I look at the official website, not the Saks Fifth one, it's $410 for 1.6 fluid ounces. That blower, that gardening mechanical noise that you hear in the background is how I feel on the inside right now. <laughs> what the f***? Like, what the actual f***? And what's sad is that people are actually seeing this and thinking that it's worth the money and paying this. What makes this so expensive? It's vegan, it's suitable for all genders and halal, which I love, but you better have something impressive in here. Before we even look at the ingredients, let's prepare ourselves. I just, I don't have words. Save your money, unless you are wiping your butt with $100 bills on a regular basis. Water, tridecyl trimethylate, glycerin, shea butter, dimethicone, caprylic triglyceride, all great ingredients, but this is like one of the most basic moisturizers. Okay, we have some black tea ferment. You can get that in K-Beauty for $30, not $410. We have alcohol, we have fragrance, which is, if anything, going to be irritating to the skin for some people. We do have some oligosaccharides, we do have some oat extract, we do have some hyaluronic acid, adenosine, which is great. Again, we use adenosine in emergency medicine, for people who have heart problems. However, tocopherol, vitamin E, all good ingredients, all vegan ingredients, but worth nowhere near what they are trying to charge for this. Like, how are they getting away with this? How are people okay with this? How do you sleep when you lie to me? All those claims and all that money. I'm hoping the ingredients will back you up tonight. That is all. <laughs> So that's my skin, kind of all, all the basics done to my skin, which I feel great after that. I feel fresh. I mean, you look great. You look fresh. I just wish, you know, that was like a thousand dollars. That was almost a thousand dollars worth of products. What was that? 200, 400. Okay, just shy of a thousand bucks. You don't need to spend the price of a laptop 
on your morning routine. For those who are concerned or trying to emulate, I just want you to be aware. If you have the money, you want to go for it. Sam looks phenomenal, but you don't need to. I would much rather pay down my student loans and my medical debt. Thank you. For me, when I'm not performing and every day just walking around the street, this stuff is incredible. It's a tinted SPF. I put quite a bit on, to be honest. Uh, there you go, that's enough. Sam Smith just revived this entire routine from being overpriced and halfway decent on an ingredient basis. We just added a wonderful, effective, not super affordable, but not grossly overpriced sunscreen. This is an SPF 50. It's only $44.99. It has a tint, so it kind of gives you a little bit of a veil without looking really cakey or like makeup. I haven't personally tried this product. I don't know if it's cruelty free, but it's got good reviews and this looks phenomenal. I am so happy that they are protecting their skin from the sun. SPF is your BFF. And this makes me very, very, very happy to see. This is like my favorite part of the routine so far. Other than the philosophy of skincare that Sam has, this is my favorite part. Then I rub it into my hands and I put it on my face. It can get caught in my beard and in my eyebrows and then it kind of goes really orange over the day. So I really rub it in. I love that they are using an appropriate amount as well. So look, that's all on now. How nice is that? I thought it's so glowy. Wow. <laughs> Sam's routine is actually like a 10 out of 10. They know the philosophy behind skincare being self-care. They use really good active ingredients. The unfortunate part is that they are grossly overpriced. You don't need to spend this kind of money on products to have good skincare. Um, I'll leave some recommendations, some dupes and some replacements in the description below. We hit all the basics. Sam doesn't need a moisturizer. Again, the sunscreen can kind of act as a moisturizer and it seems like that's what's happening for them. Uh, I am so happy about this skincare routine and Sam's new album. Sam then takes us through their makeup routine and I have left those steps out, so please go show the original video some love. I will link it here and up here. Um, go check it out to see what else they put on their beautiful skin as well as some of the intellectual nuggets about self-care that they share. And overall, please remember to be beautiful both inside and out. If you wanna actually break down the luxury skincare routine in another reaction video, I've got that for you right here. Overall, I love you and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.